What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Lyman Football and today's video is going to be the best three ways to help get rid of chin strap acne. Now, the first way is super, super simple. It's basically clean your chin strap. So now, depending on the chin strap, there's a couple different options. First off, if you're using any kind of sleeve on that, make sure at least to hand or machine wash it every single week. That'll help get rid of one of your issues. As it is the first thing touching your skin, you wanna make sure this thing is clean at all times and helping take grease away from your face. Now, if you're using just a hard shelled chin strap or a soft shell, whatever it is, make sure again, clean it every single week. Now, basically the way to do that, you can either use say like rubbing alcohol, rub out the inside, that'll get it completely clean. But if you have sensitive skin, you might just wanna use something like soap and water, or you could also use hydrogen peroxide. Again, all good ways to clean it, just make sure that there's nothing staying on this that'll be touching your face. Also, wipe it down after every single practice if it's really bad. Okay, now number two is keeping your face dry. Now, a lot of people, they go over to the sideline, they're getting water, whatever, and they're pulling their shirt over their face and they're wiping their face off with their own sweaty shirt. Wiping a sweaty face with a sweaty shirt is just not gonna work. So what I recommend, either keep, either keep like an old beat up shirt on the sideline or a towel, anything like that, that you can wipe your face off with separately from anything that you have on the field that can be dirty and have grease and dirt and that kind of stuff on it. So wipe your face off when you get water, that way it'll keep your face nice and dry. Now way number three is a little more time consuming, it is washing your face. And I'm gonna now take you through how to wash your face properly. Okay, so if you look at anything like proactive, basically it's a three step process. Now, the first thing you'll need is some kind of exfoliating scrub, All right? That's step one. After that, you'll need some kind of toner. Another toner just to help keep your face clean after that and help revitalize it. Again, now you can get all these as sets or you can just buy them all separately, whatever's cheaper. Okay, now number three you'll need is a face moisturizer. Okay, so I, I literally just woke up, so that's why my hair is all messed up. I'm keeping it up here. So with your exfoliator, what you wanna do is you need some kind of abrasive thing. Your hand is okay if it has some kind of micro beads or anything like that in it, but if it doesn't, if it's more of a smooth, you'll either need something like one of these little pads or you'll need something like a small towel. I use one of these though, I like these. Okay, so what you do is you wanna use warm water, not hot water, just barely warm to help open up your pores. Again, if the chin is your problem area, make sure to really work it in there. Okay, now, um, wash your face off. Step two is uh, use your toner and then use some kind of little pad or anything like that. Again, focus on the areas that you need it the most, so like your chin. And now you basically just gotta give this a second to dry. And now the last step is to put on your face cream. That's basically because when you're doing these first two steps, you're pulling all the moisture out of your skin, it's gonna get super dry, it breaks it down. The point of the cream is to help protect your skin and bring moisture back into it. Now for those steps, I like to do that twice a day, once in the morning, once at night, it just depends on when my workout is. If I have a morning workout, I'll do it after my morning workout and then before I go to bed. If I have a night workout, say like you have practice, I'll do it when I wake up and then after practice at night, basically. But it, again, I like to do it twice a day. So there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed that video today. I hope it helps a lot of you guys out, especially some of you new players getting into the game, checking me out. If you like that video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you really liked it though, please share it for everyone else to find out these small little tips. And again, as always, subscribe if you want to see. I put up three videos every single week. And as always, thanks.